Hi friends, in the previous video we have seen about the overview of the component in the Vue.js. So now we will see about the nested components. So that means nothing but component within the components. How we can write the nested components? Here in the previous example what we have seen, we are having one component with name and if you see here we have the definition for the name component. Now if you see here the code when you are observing, it is looping over the names array and it is displaying the multiple name component okay like this how could be if we have something like names list okay as a component so this names list component will be responsible for rendering all the names so that tomorrow if you come and see your code after six months and all those uh, after six months time so if you see here names list means okay you will be able to see that okay this component is responsible for displaying the names so like this you will be able to understand so clean code it will be a clean code now we will uh, write the definition for how we, now we will declare the names list component here we will go into the main.js and at the top i am declaring the new component with the name okay names list okay so here it will be the object and in the object we will be having template so in the template what i will do i will call again the name component what we have down here okay name component this name component i will be calling here and here i will be showing the john for the timing i will show you so this is the names list component here we have declared the names list component and now in this mains list component this names list component is calling again the name component so nothing but what we can say is nested components we are calling component within the component okay we are calling a component within the component okay now let's go and see the output if you go here and we will in file explorer and if you if you see the output how it will be let's see okay it is showing the john okay fine now if you go here and inspect element and if you check in the view for example one second let's see and inspect it again yeah we got the view here sometimes uh, if you if you are unable to see the view uh, view tab here just close the inspect element and open it again it will immediately it will be visible to you okay now if you see here you you here you will be able to see the names list component and inside this names list component you will be able to see the name component so we are using the nested component structure and this name component is responsible for showing the john name now how could be if we have this name array if, if the if this name is uh, if this name component if, if it is showing the name array how it could be so now what we'll do is we will take this one and we'll create a data object okay for that component only now it will return now here always remember that in when you are declaring data in the component it should it should be a method and it should have a return it should be the object data object it should always return the data object in the component but in the view instance level it data is only an object so this is the representation in the Vue.js. So if you are creating any view instance, the data will be always will be the object. Okay, it not it, it will not be the method so that it is it is returning the object. It should not be like this. For only the component structures only, it will be the method returning the object. What what are the data object we are having? It will be returning like this. Remember this point. Okay. Now we are returning the names. How could be if we same thing loop over? okay name in names and we will show the name in this one okay previously what we have did in the index.html page same thing i am doing in the names list component okay now what i will do i will see the output if i see the output here nothing is visible so if you see if you see in the inspect element names list component is there but inside this names list component there is no name components what is what is the error if you go to the console and if you see here it is saying that multiple root nodes return from the render 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 function should only should return a single root node so this is the error it is showing so you should also remember another thing in the component while declaring the components every component should be under single one root node only for example see in this names list component if you see here name it is looping over the names array so how could be the expected output it will be you will be having name showing the john once and showing like this it will be looping over 
like this is so here if you observe it is having multiple root nodes okay it is not having the single root node so all the time when you are declaring the components it should be wrapped under a single root node okay if we have like this single root node so this one is valid now we will go and we will write we will wrap this one in a div okay all the time when you are declaring the template in a component wrap it in a single div it should be and uh, everything under single root node okay now this one we can write it in the es6 implementation let's implement in the es6 implementation we can also use it as a backtick so that we can split the markup okay we can divide it down one by one one by one like this okay now this could be somewhat readable now i will go and i will execute the same output here see I'll be able to see the John, Joe, and George here. Okay, and this error why it is coming is okay. Fine, we are using the component name same name here, and we are using the variable name like this, so it is showing some warning. So it's better we can change the names so that the warnings also will not be displayed. So it is showing suggestion something like that. So in this way, we can represent the components component within the com nested components. Okay, so now what we have right, we have, what we have did here, we have to we have created a new name list names list component, and this names list component what it is inside this names list component we are again calling the name component, so that each name while re, while uh, looping over the each name, we are using this component. Okay, so this is the nested nested components. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you.